And here's the finished joust model. The object is to move the trolley back and forwards here and turn the turntable and knock the balls off and the first person that gets three balls in their section, either here or here, is the winner. Now obviously these balls will fall into these containers and these balls will fall this way. But the middle ones can go either way. And the object is, is to turn your cranks and this one, this way you can rotate the turntable. This one will move the trolley back and forth, like so and you can knock the balls off. Now the secret of this is your opponent using this crank is actually counteracting yours. So if you turn this one this way and you turn this one it'll if you turn the same speed it stops dead. The difference in speed between the turning of this crank and this crank is transmitted to the trolley. So you can actually control it and stop your opponent from moving his trolley backs and forwards if you do it just right. Of course it can be pretty difficult to do sometimes. But that's the object of the joust game, is to knock the balls off and the first one that gets three balls is the winner. And that's the finished model. And the other video shows you some of the mechanism of how it works.